Hello and welcome to Let's Play Midwood Isle with me, Magic Addict. All right. Welcome everyone. We are here at Midwood Isle. And we have explored the island and uncovered a lot of POIs in the past few episodes. So now we will do some quests. The Archery Tournament. I've signed up for the annual Archery Tournament held in Florin. I should speak to Renly at the arena down by the docks when I'm ready to begin. Once I start, there'll be no leaving the arena until the tournament is over. Since Elisa here, a mage, has no archery skills, I think the tournament will get over very soon. That's for sure. So let's go see what's happening here. Ooh, the motley crew is here. Look at that. Is this is the arena. Amazing. Ghost, what a what arena, man. Look at that. On the docks. Water all around. Stunning. Good morning. Hello, participants. Are you ready to face a mage archer? <laughs> ready to get started. Yes. I'm ready to start the tournament. Great. Everyone else is ready. Since this is your first time competing, say if you want me to explain the rules. Remember, your opponents are professionals, and you'll be eliminated from the tournament if you don't score high enough. Make sure you're ready. From when I say you have 15 seconds to shoot at the metal targets to the east on the wooden poles. Hitting them grants you a certain number of points. Points are independently scored each round, meaning they don't carry over. Hitting the closest gets you one point, the next furthest gets you two, the next three, and so on, with the furthest giving five. You must use standard, everyday arrows and a bow. No magic, magic bows, or crossbows, or anything like that, or else you simply won't be scored. If you leave, you will be disqualified. Same goes for if you attack someone. After your turn, the other competitors will shoot. The, the person with the lowest score after each round will be eliminated. Right. Ready to start? Or would you like me to explain the rules again? Okay, you're up first. I'll give you a few seconds to get into position, then start the clock. Remember, you have 15 seconds. Good luck. Okay. Ready? Ready? One, two, three, go! Hmm? Wow, suck. I suck. Totally suck. <laughs> Time's up. Okay. Come on. You now step back and let the other competitors shoot. All right. Let's go, guys. Okay, competitors. One. She's a native uh, Midwood Island lady, and he's a go. bossma, arrogant bossma, and this guy's from Strasmak Makai. Wow! Look at them go, man. <laughs> and time's up. Okay, everyone, give me a moment to work out the scores. Well met, friend. Yes? Hold on, my friend. I'll just announce the results. Okay. Everyone, can I have your attention? I will now announce the results of the first round. Proceeding to the next round. Arthur and our Congress, Arissa Riverthorn, and Tavian Dorgear. Congratulations to anyone who made it through. Unfortunately, if you are now out, you did not place high enough for a reward. But thank you for participating. All right. And that says happy to get out of the tournament. <laughs> Good luck, guys. That was fun. Long time since I since uh, reviews a bow. Trouble. 
All right, what next? There are a couple of miscellaneous quests. Find Alicia's ring at Windy Bluff Lookout. So we need to go and get the ring from here. So we'll quickly run past the island. Let's uh, use some cool spells and jump, shall we? Morrowind style. So very bluff record should not be so far. Yeah, we gotta go here, right? Ooh, Fort Boltan. We've not been here. Windy Bluff Rookout must be this way? Okay. Perfect. Whee! I love the jump spell, man. So cool. Alright. Should be right here on the bridge. Sapphire, Garnet, Gold, right here, there you go, Alicia's ring, alright, perfect. So we had, I mean, so you, you have a convenient map marker, so we don't have to worry about where it is. Off we go to the queen and hand the ring back to her. Pretty dense jungle at Midwood Isle, that's for sure. Really well designed, you know the amount of trees, really feels wooded, almost like uh, Farkreath. Farkreath hold his Skyrim. I'll eat your heart. Alright Ari, Ari chill out. We're safe here, back in town, okay? <laughs> Alright, King's Long House. Let's go give the ring to Alicia. If you need anything, please talk to Siphon. He'll be able to help you with whatever you need. Thank you so much. Enjoy the city. Good day. Oh, thank you, Dragonborn. You've no idea what it means to me to have this back. I'd forgotten how special it is. Here, you deserve a reward for your efforts. I think you'll find this suitable. Thanks again. All right. Next quest is about killing the master vampire in the farmer's hut right so let's do that you see those warriors from hammerfell they've got clothes 
swords. Curved swords. <laughs> Curved. You disrespect the law and you disrespect me. That's hilarious. All right, Mo Master Vampire is right there. So you can cast a few spells. Am I supposed to be best? Let's uh, just walk on the road, I guess, for now. Beautiful lamps. Master Vampire. Oh, you gotta go inside. Yep, we were here last time, right? Alright, Ori. I am here. I'll be right here. You wait here. Alright. Oh yeah, these guys. Hmm, these guys are not these guys are not the vampires, are they? Let's go, guys. Oh, my God, the mayhem. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Slaughter! Oh, Spark Vampire, huh? Well done, Rebel Lords. All right, there was a lot of vampires and vampire thralls. Oh my goodness. Eliza here had to use her entire repertoire of spells. And now for the master vampire, I'm sure it'll not be easy. <laughs> it is not going to be easy. Oh yeah, we did uh, watch this scene right last time. Dude, can you just go back to your oblivion, please? Thank you. Okay. 
Oh, we do have a few people. There are four of them, plus one massive vampire. Okay. Or oh, five. Five of them. Okay. And one prisoner. Interesting. Alright. Now, I'm assuming that guy is a master vampire right there. And you have a couple of uh, reanimated <laughs> bodies too. Uh, Alright. Too powerful. Interesting. Wow, that's a lot, man. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine. Trying to silence all of these is not, not going to be easy. Let's see. I managed to silence a couple of vampires. But then the magic will still re regenerate when you silence them. So... Master Vampire is right here. They all get to the position where I last cast the spell, right? So they'll come here. I think they're all here. It's so funny. Must have been nothing. All right. Well done, my Daedric minions. I knew I smelled more. Go. Wow, look at the master vampire, man. We're almost done. Very 
Well done. That was not easy. <laughs> Goddamn Master Vampire. The Court of Malakath. Vampire Boots. Vampire Armor of Eminent Conjuration. Okay. Good stuff. Alright, we're good to go then. I wonder what we what's here. Let's go see what we find here. Ooh, I like this. What is this? Is this a gargoyle? Pretty cool. Essentially getting rid of the magicka of the, of the vampire and uh, also getting rid of his stamina made it easy. Okay, you have a scroll, you have a spell book, you have some junk. Alright, I guess. And a couple of cool statues here. Gargoyles. Look really cool. Very cool room, very well designed. I like the dark atmosphere here and love the candle lights they add to it. Alright, let's get out of here then. We're done. Alright, Scython. Dragonborn. The vampires are dealt with. Is there Excellent. I'm pleased that's dealt with. Here you are, Dragonborn. Your reward. And I when thank you. Only? My king, my queen, I am concerned with the recent number of bear and wolf attacks on the roads. I hadn't heard there was an increase. Very well. I suppose something must be done. What do you propose? I'd like to post men to patrol the main roads, to protect the travelers. Not to disregard the safety of the travelers, but by placing men on the roads, we would sacrifice some of the guard here. There's too few of them anyway. You said so yourself. I think our primary concern is the people inside the city. Elysia is right. Renly, you simply don't have the men to patrol the entire island. Perhaps instead you could speak to Nyron, or some of the other local hunters. We could offer them a higher reward for any predator furs they bring us. A good idea, my king. I'll get the word out. What a cool suggestion. I like that. Go fiddling with any locks around here. You're going to have a real problem. Alright. So we're done with the... Miscellaneous quest. So we have... Uh, this one... Which we need to get Skyforge steel weapons. We have, do we have to go back to Skyrim and get weapons? In that case, I'm not doing it. <laughs> One small favor. Okay, he wants... Uh, Dirden, the blacksmith in Florida, has been given a difficult order. He has asked me to do a small favor. Fletching a blacksmith's el elixir from Delas, Alchemist in Alverton. Okay, I, can, I guess we can do both. Falas has directed me to find Valkyr, who lives in Alverton. Perhaps he's the descendant of the warrior who defeated Zakris. For the main quest. The mystery of Zakris, the Daedric Lord. Alright, so let's go to Alberton then. I think we have two quests. Let's see... Uh... Oh yeah, here. Yeah, we haven't been to the town. Okay. Alright. However, before we go there, I think we should uh, take some time and uh, read some of these books which we have. Which the Mord author has lovingly created. So... Let's see. Brief history of Mirwood Isle. Let's do that. Okay. This is the tale of a history of Mirwood Isle from the beginnings of this nation in the Dawn Era to the formation of the culture as we know it today. For this, we have to go back to the very beginning in the Dawn Era when Ercoloth, the Aedra, bound himself to the land we know as Mirwood Isle and created Lastindal, a spirit parallel realm of the, of the Mundus. Ooh, so there's a spirit parallel realm called Lastindal. He approached a group of armor, took them away from the wars plaguing Nern, and taught them honor, compassion, and wisdom. These Mer renounced their previous name and called themselves Sonma, taking Midwood Isle as their home. Thus, the independent race of Sonma was born. Here they lived peacefully until the Meritic Hera, when the dragon Kaelirlok led his cult upon the island. Okay. Ekloth, weakened by the creation of the Mundus, was powerless against them and could do nothing to stop the situation of the island. This continued until the defeat of Alduin, which weakened Kev Kevnirlok and his cult immensely. 
Eklot was finally able to stand against them and a, and a battle commenced resulting in Kenrlock's defeat. So the dragon, uh, dragon's cult got defeated. Pirwood Isle was restored and given back to the Sonma as Eklot intended. For thousands of years, Sonma existed as small settlements and camps within, with no single ruler. They were content and happy to be left alone to their own things, managing well on their own island. However, sometime in the early first era, the Aelid people discovered Pirwood Isle. Ah, the Aelids. The Aelid Empire was strong and had not collapsed, not yet collapsed. The Aelid people set up civilizations on Midwood Isle, building their temples and settlements. The Aelid remained on Midwood Isle and prospered, knowing nothing of their own species. Uh, knowing nothing of their own species, disasters back in time rules. Okay, so the Aelids. So we saw the Aelid ruins, right? Last time we were there. So the Aelids remained in Midwood Isle while their own species was getting extinct back in Tamriel. Interesting. At first, since with the Sonma was surprisingly peaceful and this lasted for almost 2,000 years, the Aelids, Aelids did not see the Sonma as a threat and they were not a unified people. They mostly kept to themselves. However, the Aelids got greedy and started to push the Sonma out of their own homeland, claiming the plentiful land as their own. That This was their mistake. Despite being welcoming to the Aelids, the Sonma could not stand for this and a war broke out, lasting years. Initially, the Aelid with the advanced civilization were able to overwhelm the Sonma, believed the war won in their eyes. However, Sonma did not forget. <laughs> Years later, in the first era, two Sonma by the name of Devo and Ar Aurelia led their people against the invaders, united in their common, under a common goal. They stormed the Aelid settlements and soundly defeated them, eradicating their race from Birwood Isle for good. Alright. So they were the queens and that's the bloodline of royalty was formed. So they were the first queen, king and queen. Very cool. From here onwards, Som the Soma prospered, creating Florin, Alberton, Lundin as we know them today. Yet this peace did not last, last forever. However, around the 450th year of the Second Era, the Daedra, Zakris, sworn enemy of Erkaloth, opened a gateway between Middle Isle and Oblivion. Ooh. Hundreds were enslaved and butchered until a single hero stood against Zakris. Warrior, a mortal warrior with an ancient power granted to him by Erkaloth, challenged Zakris and defeated him. Midwood Isle was saved once again and since that time the peaceful island has been unaffected by war and suffering. Until now. Nice, nice book. Okay, Traveler's Guide to Midwood Isle. In my many travels, I've encountered a tiny island known as Midwood Isle, home of the Sonma. One should immediately be aware of the difference in climate to Skyrim. Midwood Isle is a beautiful warm island with golden beaches along the shore and thick pine forests. Travelers should just dress light, especially coming from a cold, a cold land like Skyrim. Okay. The Sonma people, we know about them. Unlike us Nords, Sonma prefer to cremate their fallen, spreading ashes to be with the earth. Necromancy is frowned upon, okay. And they have no issues uh, with, with conjuration. The afterlife is a place known as Last Tindal. This is the realm of Erkoloth and the god ancestor of the Sonma, a spiritual parallel realm of the Mandas. Nice. Last Tindal. We gotta go there. They believe that if Erkoloth judges their life meaningfully, in meaningful and good, then he claims their soul and they pass here. Uh, I can't read this. Damn. Upon the death, until they choose their dream sleeve. As well as Erkoloth, they worship the eight divines, like many in Tamriel. And do not recognize and they do not recognize Talos as a god. Alright. Is this a bug? What is this? I don't understand. Yeah, we know the the geography and the locations of different cities. Um it is outside of Samriel border. It requires some time to travel there by boat. The actual island is located to the northwest of central High Rock. Hmm. Kind of far. So it's a nice travel guide by someone living in Skyrim, I guess. <laughs> Alright. That was cool. So we're going to Alberton, right? Alright. If you ended up enjoying the video, consider smashing that like button. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for regular Morrowind and Elder Scrolls content. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you next time.